Welcome back to the show, everyone. In the last episode, the group found the hidden Atlas facility underneath Old Haven. And then we were found by all the douchebags that are chasing us. So many douchebags. So let's, many douchebags. Uh, let's hear what Patrick Warburton has to a say a veritable, again. A veritable douche parade. Also, I forgot August's name. So once again, thank you for your backup brain. Yeah. I needed it. But, race. You didn't think I'd have August handling all my dirty work, did you? Uh, I don't want to order a load of things man yeah. just doesn't sell. How the hell do you keep showing up? We've escaped you like a gajillion times now. Reese. Reese. Reese, 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 Reese. Yes, that is Only the fool. You would think that Reese would get it right about now. No. Uh, what? Loaderbot, armed weapons or something. I'm helping. Helping, he says. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. No! Uh, come on, guys. You didn't think I'd come all the way down here before grabbing a universal remote, did you? What? The Gordis Project, the two halves of the core, everything leading to a vault. We got it all. Checkmate, amigos. I am shame. No! Oh. No! What you Hopefully think? Hopefully, it's only that temporary. You can go for something from my toy box, no strings attached. You never could follow through. That's your problem. Oh, your payback's coming, asshole. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know when. But you're gonna make a mistake, and when you do, <laughs> I'll be there. We sure, need Jack. Sure. Where are you, Jack? Uh, bring flowers. Yeah, you'll bring footway flowers. What? Ow. Why is it always the face? Oh, you guys are gonna believe the dream I just had. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what the hell is this? Didn't I just do this with this guy? Kiddo, I admire your consistency, but, uh, God. Jack. Oh, and who is this princess? <laughs> Wait, they- Son of a- Shock other people. Oh, yes. I knew about that. Um, don't touch the cores, I guess. Thanks for the heads up. They're Wait. such douchebags. They're Jackass. douchebags to each other. Can They're gonna I have just to say do August force. has a problem with touching You'll things? You'll <laughs> Right. Because I figure if you don't, well, I- I We're can think of all sorts of things to do to your little friends. Yeah. <laughs> Like, we're just gonna give this gorgeous thing to two scumbags like you. <laughs> it's cute you think you have a choice. Two hallways, two halves. I'll, uh, take my soon-to-be-dead janitor here. You take my fancy hat down the other one. <laughs> Boys, you keep an this eye fancy on these hat. Two. Especially this one. Don't believe a thing she says. Oh, how sweet. Rude. Aw. Aw, he smiles at her. Yeah, you sit tight. Get your hands off me! Either of those two move, you shoot them where they stand. Race, I'll admit it, you and uh, Vaughn have impressed me. And that sort of thing doesn't happen often. I'm surprised you've made it this far. Oh, yeah, Hugo Vasquez, Hugo Vasquez. There's, there's something I remember about this guy. What the hell really? is it? Really? It's unbelievable. Oh, God. You must have had some sort of thing. Couple of death jockeys like you. I'd say it was 50 50. It survived the landing. I got help from Handsome Jack. Oh, so we're, we're telling everyone now. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, maybe I should have ah. kept that quiet. Yeah. I totally get what you're saying there. I, too, have found Handsome Jack to be an eternal well of inspiration. <laughs> I mean, you might think of me as a self-made man, and for the most part, you'd be right. But there was this time when I looked up and admired one man in particular. The most impressive person He's I've gonna ever say known. me. Handsome Jack. You idiots always say me. Still can't figure out who he is, though. We had this special <laughs> rapport. He would do this thing where he would punch me in the face whenever he'd see me. It didn't matter if he was busy. He always made time for me. You're a lunatic, Hugo. 
No, still nothing. I punched my mom, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Just boom, right in the kisser. I was drinking from a mug when he got me one time. Uh, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Chip to Muller. I miss our time together. Ah, this drives me crazy. It's right there. It's on the tip of my But mouth. through me, his legacy carries on. What? doing this. What do you mean? What do you get out of it? I mean, is it about the money? Revenge? This is all about damage control at this point. We cut my boss, Valerie, out of the first deal. Hmm. Obviously, that was a bad idea for a lot of reasons. The fact that the vault key was bullshit me first and foremost. Well, Valerie found out about it, so now we've got to convince her that whatever comes out of this room is worth more than the $10 million deal we tried to slip under her nose. Then, hopefully, she doesn't kill us all. Did she oh, ever talk about me? Guys. Apparently. What? Sasha, did she ever talk about me? You guys are sisters. I figure you'd talk every now and again. She I'm never not... mentioned you. Just curious if she ever mentioned me. Nope. Not once. Huh. That's a little disappointing. Look, I just want you to know, you as far as you are. and I are concerned, yeah. there's no hard feelings. That is so generous of you. I'll think about that when you shoot me in the back. Come on, don't be like that. You're the one that hustled me, remember? Oh my god, he separates businesses. Hey, Matt, you see, dude, is what I was okay, to no longer a douche. Oh, he's still a douche. Some mentorship. He's just a, a douche with a heart. Figure. I was oh, trying to help you. The janitor gig, it was to test your metal, your resolve. And I gotta say, you reacted with some balls, kid. Some big old balls. <laughs> you see, Reese, I started at the bottom, and I worked my way up. I, uh, <laughs> I used to be in the mailroom. Whoa, wait a minute. Wallet head! That's where Jack found <laughs> He used to be bald, and he was going through these hair implants, and, and, and I didn't it would stick money to his head. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, but it was a long time ago. A ask him about it. He'll tell you. Ask him about it. <laughs> Go on. Go on, seriously. But that's ask a pretty him. big difference. Hey, hey, come on. I'm, I'm handing you the comedy gold here. Are you going to ignore this? Listen, uh, wallet head. W w wallet head? <laughs> yeah. So, I appreciate the advice. I, I, I do. But I'd much rather you take your two cents and shove them into your wallet that you have on the back of your head that you are ashamed of because you are a wallet head. I... I was trying to be nice to you. After stabbing us in the back twice. Let's get this over with. Oh, that's good. Oh, when that's I take your corpse you back up to Helios, I'm gonna make sure they save me some of your skin to make a wall out. Whenever I see it, I'll remember the look on your face at this moment. Whoa. That's legitimately creepy. Yeah. Also, if Jack is legitimately creeped out, that's pretty fucking terrible. Yes. Oh, wow. Cool sauce. Uh... I can't use the. Much sure can't. Is there anything I can do other than use the thing? Smell. Apparently not. I guess we'll meet up with Fiona here. Maybe. This is one half of it. No! Oh! Hey! Hey! I just, this is probably I just a good thing. That it was just about the money and nothing else. And relationships have to be built on trust. I don't know if I can take Sasha back without it. Take I mean, Sasha back? Like that. At this point, I assume she's just embarrassed. August, you're pathetic. So you're saying I shouldn't take her back? Hey, we all make mistakes. I've certainly made. You want to take sure. back the? Yeah, you said he's not a dude. You're pathetic. pathetic. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Well, here we are. Go on. Stalling won't do you any good. Come on, are you stupid? 
stalling? Hi, Reese. I don't know if you've got the impression. Okay, oh, just chill, dude. I was just looking around for a second. Whoa. Hey, what is this? A shield? No. No, 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 no! Hang on tight, Fiona. That would be a very bad drop. This is awesome. I would love to be in a place like that. Maybe. Have a nice chat. <laughs> I can't imagine he's too happy with you guys. I, at least that's the vibe. I, I hate getting. that guy. I hate that son of a bitch. I kind of picked up on that. Gorgeous unit ready for assembly. Assembly. Kind of afraid to do this, got but. It, got it. I guess that's our cue. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this. What do you think it is? Keep pushing! What exactly no do you think? I know, me neither. Like, the way Borderlands is, you just can't ever predict any of this. It could be a vault, it could be a gun, it could be a superpower, it could be nothing, it could be money. Some secret to eternal life. It could be a kitten. Program complete. Reconfiguring probability matrix. I'm actually feeling tense and excited. Okay. What the hell is that? That is a metal ball. Oh shit. How's this gonna get us into a vault? Hmm. It's not a vault key. It's the only leverage we've got at this point. Meaning? <laughs> right. You've got one bargaining chip to work with. Okay! Just grab the thing and let's go. You, but what the hell are you doing? Back off! Whoa, 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 what's she doing? This isn't good, this is bad. Reese, Reese, you gotta let me into your subsystems, man. I can hack into these drones and I can uh, uh, almost guarantee no one dies. Unless you want them to. 
problem. Uh, just let me in. I don't know if that's a good idea, Jack. That might be our only way out. Vaughn! It's under control, Lisa. Trust me. What? Trust no, Fiona. no, listen. Uh, we can take over the whole uh, facility, oh, kid. God. Trust her. Uh, what are you going to do, Fiona? Do it. No, 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 no. You're making a huge mistake. No one lives forever. This is how you're saving us? You're just throwing things? No, I, I think it's supposed to explode. Oh, oh God. Uh, what? No, you can't cliffhanger me after seven, six episodes. No! Revenge! Why? Come on, game. Don't Revenge. do that to me. Oh, hey, Kroger and what's his fucking uh, woo, break. And Athena not looking like a lunatic. Hmm. And that mirror. Yes. Aww. Who? Valerie, I'm guessing. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> How could you have that revenge on us, game? How? Looks like we stuck with the majority with most of this. You and 33.7% of players shot Finch with corrosive damage. That's one third. Yep. 81% didn't peek inside Sasha's gift. Hey, most people are not assholes. Half of us picked Malawan brand. High majority told Sasha to help Rice, uh, Reese. We told Vaughn about Jack. God, I was like super mature. <laughs> you and 90.1% of players bro-fisted Vaughn. How could you resist? Bro-fists. Really? The broest way to show your bro how bro or how bro you are not with him. Wow. And over half of the players trusted Fiona over Come Jack. Come on, who would trust Jack? That sounds yeah. like a really dumb way to die. That's kind of a good point. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed episode two, the games episode two of Tales from the Borderlands. Um, usually, these episodes come out about once every, or they come about a, well, they come out about every couple of months. Although I think episode two took like three months to release. It's kind of slow for tell, so, yeah. Telltale, but who cares? Took us another month just to get to get to it. So they it are is what it is. A lot of shit now, I think. Yeah, they are, they're also doing um, that uh, Game of Thrones game, too, that I'll probably never play since I'm not a Game of Thrones guy. Yeah, I watched half of an episode. It wasn't me. Yeah, I mean, but. Lena actually has called it a game changer, or at least the book's a game changer. And as everybody knows, I'm trying to be uh, a fantasy author. Oh, God. Every time I say that, I like feel like it's just not going to happen. I should stop even talking about it. But anyway. Stop it. Um, shooting your horse in the foot before it even gets out to pasture. And she... <laughs> that literally makes no sense. Um, and uh, uh, she's said that the whole Song of Ice and Fire is a game changer and I should read it and all this. And I don't know. I don't know. I might get to it. But at least for now, since I don't know anything about it other than that it stars Peter Dinklage and has a whole bunch of boobs on in the show, I really don't know anything else about it. So I, uh, oh, I, I know who Jon Snow is because not only is that an awesome name, but he's got a really badass look. Yeah, I know Arya Stark is a little badass and that's it. I don't even know who that is. I think I could also recognize the blonde haired chick who's a queen and calling dragons or some shit. Oh, Daenerys. I thought you were talking about Cersei. Check. I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know who either of those people yeah, are. Yeah, dragon collar lady is Daenerys Targaryen, the Khaleesi, and all sorts of other shit. Okay, all of those sound like made-up words, but anyway, it's my point fantasy. is... Everything in fantasy is a goddamn made-up word. Not mine. There's a reason I intentionally choose Anglo-Saxon names. What the hell were we talking about? Oh, that I'm never going to play the, the Song of Ice... 
Because like, I think a couple of you guys have actually wanted me to play it. And I've thought about it, but I literally don't know anything about the universe. And right now I don't care about it. And that's not anything... Um, that's not supposed to be a knock on the Game of Thrones universe. I just yeah. don't know it's anything about it. So I my interest in it would be very limited. No thanks. I don't need to sign up for anything. Uh, I appreciate the offer, yeah. though. Theory, though, like... If you trust Handsome Jack, he gets into your shiznits. Yeah, that will probably have very long-term consequences. Yeah, and it's like... I mean, yeah, he wants to preserve you because you're his lifeline, sort of. Like, you're the last thing he has in a semblance to, like, a corporeal being. Right. But he also takes you over, probably, because... Come on, it's Jack. That's yeah. what he fucking does. Exactly. Well, it'll be a while before we get to find out exactly how all that shook oh, out. Oh, sweet. You can see all the shit that went down on Elpis. They clearly, uh... They, what? Elpis looks like shit. What are you talking about? The moon? Yeah. I see. Um, they obviously survived somehow, but uh, it's going to be a while before we get to see it. So, yeah. whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be anticipating the next chapter with me. So thanks for watching, everyone. You'll, I'll, I'll see you again tomorrow for an episode of something, just not this. We will return to Tale of Tales from the Borderlands when Telltale is able to release the next episode. I can't wait. How could you cliffhanger Patience, me back? Patience, though, developers! Love yourselves! I indeed. Slow burn it! Make it hurt! Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. We will see you tomorrow for another episode of something. Wasn't it fun when we sporked that guy's eye out? Yeah.